People will tell you that one out of five minutes are spent in the Facebook feed, which is great, right. but the other four to five minutes are spent in messaging. And here we are at CanLion, and literally nobody else is actually talking about the impact that messaging is having and what creativity looks like in the world of messaging. It feels like we're at the cusp of more change, simply because of this beautiful device in our hands. Texting, messaging, seems to be something that becomes incredibly important as a communication channel. You just wrote a book called Text Me. How do you feel yep. about that? Why now? Why messaging? Why that? I wish I could tell you that I had a crystal ball and I saw into the future. I did feel that mobile was changing society at large, and so the book is The Freakonomics of the Mobile Generation. It looks at the untalked about and undiscussed impact that mobile's had on every aspect of life, uh -huh. from parenting to memory to politics to music, how mobile messaging has transformed us. But it's been a journey. The challenge is, is how do brands actually fit into that? And so here you are messaging with your daughter and she's not responding to you. You're like, oh my God, is she okay? Please just send me a message, tell me if you're okay. And then Oreo comes over the top and says, hey, four Ys, six exclamation marks, buy a cookie. You're like, I don't want a cookie. Imagine if I told you, you know what? This next week, anybody who wants a pack of Oreos, it's free. All you have to do is send me your text message. That world will exist, yeah. but what makes me frightened is that there's nothing there. I'm just blown away. But you have put your phone number on a book on a billboard, on a truck, rolling down the corset. What are you gonna do with the platform and when, when we're gonna see it evidence? We're collecting everything, everything that I'm having a conversation with you about. What's interesting is that we're asking some basic questions that people don't think about. So we asked, what's the last thing you look at at the end of the night before you go to bed, your partner or your phone? 80% of people said their phone. What brands need to ask themselves, Social was the challenge, right? Is it sustainable? Can we actually have dialogue? We got past that because in reality, it's not real one-on-one -on -one dialogue. When it becomes truly one-on-one, -on -one, which is what messaging is going to be, we have to figure out how does that scale? How does it become financially sustainable? So do we think we'll see a category here called the messaging category? I hope so. <laughs> Hopefully you'll, ju you'll judge it.